fixing that. Say good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. So, it's uh, dark in here. Let me turn the light on. It's a beautiful Friday morning, and I'm going to take you along with me today. We're going to go grocery shopping. Where are we going grocery shopping at? We've not decided yet. We're going to go grocery shopping, and you're going to come with us, and we're going to do a grocery shopping haul for the um, nine-week keto situation we're going to do. We are going to do keto for nine weeks straight hardcore. and just be super <laughs> hardcore, hardcore. Hard hardcore. Hardcore parkour. We're gonna we're gonna do it super strictly. Um, there may be a little bit of dirty stuff in there, but we're gonna go as strict as we possibly can. And yeah, so hopefully this is gonna be great for us. We um, have not been just doing very good on keto, and we want to make sure that we're doing really you know good so that we can actually continue losing weight because we got to a place where we just weren't losing anymore. So we're gonna take you along to go grocery shopping to prepare ourselves for that. I'm going to the school at Savannah School today to do a hiking trip with the kids. She goes to a nature school, it's really cool. So I don't think I can show you any of that because it's school function. Maybe, I don't know, we'll see. So I'm gonna go do that today. I'm gonna throw on some makeup, get myself dressed and ready to go. When we get back, we're going grocery shopping and you're coming with me. So let's go guys, let's do this. <clears throat> okay, so we're in my room and I'm gonna do something about this. I got like, oh god. I'm gonna take my remainder of my makeup off because boy, wow. You know, at nighttime I take my makeup off, but then I wind up sleeping and like somehow it just magically appears underneath my eyes. Does anybody else have this problem? Okay, so I'm gonna throw a teeny bit of something, something on my face so that, you know, I'm acceptable. I started out by moisturizing. Because we're going hiking and this is not like um, a fashion show, I'm just like throwing on foundation, maybe a little blush, a little bit of, you know, that kind of stuff. And then that'll be it. That'll be it. Yep. So guys, I want to talk to you a tiny bit about um, what's going on with the keto situation. Jeff and I, I'm embarrassed to say this, but Jeff and I fell off the bandwagon. Yeah. Wah, wah, wah. So one cheat led to failure, in my opinion, but we are not going to fail. We're going to pick right back up and get life together, and we are going to do strict keto for nine weeks. Um, in the end of this, we will be going to New York with to visit some family, and we're going to have some cheat days there because the food's just too good to not have. Sorry about that. Don't worry, I'll be taking you with me for all of those adventures because it'll be really cool. I think we're going to go um, and do some things out and about type stuff that would be interesting to film. So I definitely will show you our adventures. We're going to go hopefully to Canada, um, maybe the city. A couple stops on the way there from Georgia, which is quite a while and there's lots of stops that are interesting. I will be definitely getting some really cool stuff for you guys. We are going to do this keto not reset because it is what it is, but we are going to do this nine week keto, strict keto journey. Um, there will be some dirty in there because I will break down and need a soda and things like that. But we are going to be drinking a gallon of water a day. We are both going to be tracking our macros to a T every single day. We are going to make sure that we hit our macros every single day. And we are going to avoid artificial sweeteners. Um, there'll be times where we have to have artificial sweeteners, or at least I feel like I have to have artificial sweeteners, and I'm not going to beat myself up over it, but I just want to be a little bit more clean in my keto journey. I want to make sure I'm getting more vegetables in and, um, you know, things like that. So I've got, I got plants, big plants. Woo! Oops. Why does high-end makeup sometimes smell so good? Like, this is a Tarte palette, so why does it smell so good? It smells like candy or something. It's like, what are they putting in it to make it smell like sugar? I wouldn't be surprised if it was actually sugar. Are you ready to go hiking? Yeah? Say hi to the vlog. <laughs>
You've done this, so you can do this. Yeah. Yeah, the other one. Savvy. Cheese. <laughs> Such, um, we should, Daddy, you should see this. I'm putting but, this in the vlog. Yeah. We never throw anything in water. Why? Because it will probably get an animal um, hurt. The more you know. The more you marry her. <laughs> uh oh. We gotta go line up now. We wound up at a place called which is this place behind me. And the kids are eating snacks. Okay, so same day, different shirt, changed my shirt, got back from the um, hiking expedition. We had a lot of fun, right, Steph? Yeah! And I'm gonna go make our grocery list, and then we're gonna go grocery shopping. So we're making our list for our keto nine-week journey. However, I'm not shopping for nine weeks, obviously. I have a few things in the fridge already that we bought from last week that we didn't actually use. So I'm gonna go make the list and I'll show you the list, go over the list, and then we will go grocery shopping. So see you in just a second. Okay, here's our list. Chicken nuggets, fried, country fried steaks, steak ums, which is, mm, yeah. Hamburgers, chicken, barbecue chicken and tacos. The steak ums I might replace with something else cause yeah, that's not very good for you. Um, the rest of all this stuff is just stuff that we need to make those things or things that I like to have around the house. Um, Yep, so we're gonna go to the store. So we've decided that we're gonna go to Little Giant. Um, I am not incredibly familiar with this grocery store. I don't really know where anything is. I've never shopped there before for groceries. I don't know how to shop there for groceries, so this should be interesting. But if you have a Little Giant in your area and you wanna see what they have in there or how to keto shop at it, this is the video for you, so stay tuned. We're here. We're at Little Giant Farmer's Market. I've never shopped in here before for keto foods, and I've definitely never vlogged in here before. So, we'll see how this goes. I'm going to bring my camera, or my phone. I'm not going to bring my tripod because that calls attention to me. So just um, please excuse the shaky nature of this and the fact that it might be this far away, not further away. But we're going to go in and try this out, see how it works out. I'm going to get what I can. And then um, there's literally a lady laughing at me. Okay, we're going inside now. Where's that meat? Pretty good prices on the meat, guys. This could be excellent for keto. So, get cauliflower $3.99. Expensive. No, that's kind of expensive for me. I'm used to Aldi. So that's a little expensive, but. Okay, we'll see. We'll give it another shot. We'll see what else they have here. Hydro cucumber. I'm not sure what that is, but we're getting two of those. I mean, I've always wondered what these cucumbers are about. So, the coleslaw looks good price-wise. There's a lot of carrots in that. So, I'm going to go with this one, which is just thinly shredded. Oh, mother load, mother load, mother load, mother load. Let's see what we've got. Pina colada, blue ras, cotton candy, star blast. Yes, buddy, that's a good one. We got sour heads, peach mango, bankster berry, hmm. and then purple haze. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get one of these. Five thirty-nine. It's a four and a half now. Yeah, that's kind of gross. Four, it's pork. It's not beef, but it, yep, that's gonna be delicious. Look at this massive yeah. pepperoni. Jeff's holding. Look at this. Huge. 
Tomato sauce, Hunt's brand, for this huge can, 99 cents. I don't remember if that's a good deal or not, but they have a whole area of here of 99 cents stuff. Yes, that's my children. We are here. Picked up some cheeses. The sharp cheddar block is zero carb. That's awesome. Uh, I don't want to get their cream cheese though, because a like store brand cream cheese is like $1.55, and at Walmart is like 80 cents. So I'm not getting that. Jeff and I were just saying that being um, at a grocery store that you don't know anything about um, and never shopped in before, I have to talk really loud because this stupid music is definitely going to get me copyrighted, but being in a grocery store that you've never been in before feels kind of like you are on vacation. Does it feel like a vacation? I know. I, I literally just said I have to talk over it. Did anybody ever used to buy these as like legitimate meals? We did. And I mean... Some people probably still do, and I'm not throwing shade because they're dang delicious, but I'm just saying they used to be like a dollar fifty when we bought them. And now they're like almost five bucks. Baby keeps trying to take her pants off in the cart. And I told her that was a no no. <laughs> oh my god, Beth stop. Beth stop. Okay, this is fun though. So we spent $126. All in all, I think that's okay, but I have to admit, I think there were things in there that were overpriced compared to what we normally would pay for them at like Walmart or Kroger, but then there was some stuff in there that was really good deals, like meat for one seemed to be pretty good priced. I'm going to go home and show you what we got. Couldn't show you the rest after I stopped about halfway through because the shift change happened and the gentleman that was playing the music was playing it extremely loud and... Bon Jovi surely would not like me to steal their copyright. We're going home and I'll show you what we got when we get there. Remember how I told you about our deer? There's one. There's two. And there's three. There's four. We're constant. Oh, there's another one over there. There's always deer out there. Yeah. Hey guys, we're officially home and I'm going to show you what we grabbed at the store. Um, this was all from Little Giants. Uh, this was my first time shopping there. I've got a ton of stuff over on this side that is keto and then a bunch of stuff over here that isn't keto. I'm not going to show you all the isn't keto stuff because that's probably not what you're here. But I'll just glance over it so you can see what $126 gets you at Little Giant. Including we got two things of laundry detergent that's not here and then we also got three big huge boxes of 20 juices the little hug juices and we're gonna use those for our birthday party in a couple months or in a month um so yeah those are not shown but those were about ten dollars uh, about fifteen dollars extra worth of stuff so i'm gonna show you now okay here is our haul huge grocery haul i mean this is this is a good bit of groceries for what we paid i think um considering what i said about the juices and stuff so we got up two gallons of water um, I've got some bacon, i got some Black Forest ham, um, the Angel Hair Coleslaw, got two bangs, all of those Powerades, those are going to be really good for Keto Flu, the bangs I use when I work out, um, I got some cr uh, fresh cut green beans, I got two cans of those actually, um, I got some Vienna sausages, yep, they're probably not the best option for strict keto, but Savvy likes them. So I got them. Um, they're probably more hers than they are mine. I got almond milk, unsweetened. Hunt's tomato sauce for when I cook pizza or anything of that nature. Got some pepperonis. Some Mexican cheese. I got this one too. It has cream cheese in it. I thought that sounded real good. Um, I got a ranch packet because I have a ton of green beans in the fridge that I'm going to use to make like fried green beans. So we'll put that in a video hopefully here soon. Um, I got cheese dip for our, when we have tacos or whatever. I got sharp cheddar cheese. This one is zero carbs. So I thought that was pretty awesome because I'm having a hard time finding like zero carb sharp cheddar, which is very strange. Um, <coughs> this is cauliflower that I got. Kind of expensive. This also is cauliflower. This is not keto. Get that out of here. <laughs> this is tuna that we grabbed up for some lunches. 
um, and one English cucumber or whatever they called it. Um, I got two, but it was squished and there was a rotten spot on it, so I didn't pay attention. I guess you need to pay more attention than me. I got this pork butt that looks just absolutely amazing. Go ahead and put that guy in the fridge. Look how huge it is. Like, it's humongous for $5.39. Like, yeah, buddy. Take that, Jeff. I got some more tuna. That should go over here. Um, the girls' stuff here, just a bunch of, like, their snacks for their school and stuff. And then the girls really like the beefaronis and bread and milk and cereal. You know, kid stuff, guys. Are you getting a head start on your water? <laughs> we are going to be drinking. I will spit it up. <laughs> we're going to be drinking an entire gallon of water a day. Um, we're going to be doing the keto as strict as we can with some dirty in there until we get 100% strict. We are going to be keeping track of our macros and things like that. So if you want to know how to do any of those things or if you're interested in watching us do those things, Send please. $19.99. But don't tell them that because some people actually think you have to pay to subscribe. Did you know that? People think that you have to pay to subscribe to YouTube channels. $46 a month for the first month. No. no, It costs you $0 to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just hit that big red Please subscribe button. That. Hit that little button that's like right over here. Stick around, guys, because it's about to get serious when it comes to this keto stuff. So, I love you all. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for all your comments and all your support. You've been absolutely wonderful. Everybody have a wonderful day. No, have a magical day. And dang trash can on the counter. <laughs> Every time I vlog, there's a trash can on my counter. Because this guy, she gets in our trash when we're gone. Everyone have a wonderful day. No, have a magical day. And grocery shop well.